Hello everyone, my name is Brent Johnson. I am the zoning inspector here at the city of Austin and today we'll be talking about uh, public nuisances. Uh, public nuisances are items that affect the health, morals, decency, and peace and safety um, for our residents here in Austin. Uh, some common different uh, public nuisances that we see quite a bit um, are, uh, the first one is the accumulation of junk. Um, that's just a bunch of items that allow different um, wildlife and whatnot to be in. Um, we just, we want to have that cleaned up off the property. Uh, otherwise, also garbage, that's another big one. Uh, we get a lot of different complaints of people throwing their garbage bags right on the ground, which allows different rodents and birds and whatnot to get into it, scattered around, or it just it helps for wildlife to come into the town, which we'd rather keep out of the town. Uh, front yard parking, big issue. Uh, we have, we've seen a lot of different cars wanting to be in the park, park on the front lawn. Well, doing that and so it uh, it's creating different hazards in walking once the vehicle makes such big ruts someone can fall and trip but also in the ordinance it uh, it says we have to have some kind of surfaces for a vehicle to sit on such as um, rock gravel concrete asphalt something hard so it can sit on and not create such big divots in the front yard um, and your neighbors would appreciate not having these big dirt mounds everywhere um, also another thing is uh, the non-registered vehicles or not currently registered vehicles sitting on the property. Um, if you want your vehicles on the property, that's fine. Um, there, there is a limit though um, with two per uh, household with each, each driver in the household. Um, but, uh, but each vehicle has to be currently uh, registered. Uh, otherwise, if not, if you're working on it or whatever, the, uh, whatever it may be, just uh, put it in the garage. Um, otherwise, uh, we would want that to be, want everything outside to be currently registered. Uh, next thing is hazardous structures. Um, there are a few around town. Some are very hard to see, some are not. Uh, we are we are currently looking at quite a few right now as to determine what exactly the owner will be doing with them. Uh, we will be looking to help in any way we can, but we need to start, start looking forward into taking or getting some of these structures figured out what we're doing with them. Um, taller grasses, uh, some people don't want to mow the grass or you got empty lots that don't seem to get mowed. Um, that's another complaint that we will get. Um, so if you see that, please let us know, but we don't, we don't want tall grass in town. That just allows different animals and whatnot to come into town as well. Um, sidewalk, next one is sidewalk ice and snow. Um, after 24 hours after the snowfall, uh, one, one of us uh, employees would be out looking at or looking at complaints that people have called in. So please have, uh, all the snow and whatnot removed beforehand. Um, so, and if you see any snow or ice still lingering on the sidewalks that, put, that pose a threat or a hazard, please let us know. Uh, uh, you can also contact us through um, our office here. Our office is 507-437-9950 uh, or else you can also contact us through our website. All right, so another way that you can be able to get in contact with us here um, you can go to our website. It's www.ci.austin.mn.us. It'll bring up the web page, and over to the right, there's a city department. Um, go ahead. Don't have to click on it. There'll be a drop downs. Um, so you want to go over to the planning and zoning. So go ahead and click on that. That's this is going to be one way that you can be able to um, report a violation. Um, otherwise, you can also, when you go to the city department, just go straight down to the re report a violation. Click on there. Uh, then you got to continue as a guest, unless you have Facebook. Um, then go ahead and put the information in as needed. Down below, go ahead and click here. I'm not a robot. Then also click submit request. Uh, that then will come to us here, and then we will we'll take a look at it, and then we will investigate further. Well, thank you, and have a nice day.